this morning I ate a um, bowl of uh, oatmeal that I have still to wake uh, to uh, swell up. Then I put three small apples in, in it and two large bananas. I put a little bit of flaxseed oil in it and I put a little bit of sugar in it That's what I need in one And of course I take a bit of water Because I have to be hydrated, you know By the way, it is also good for your skin and hair if you care about that kind of stuff. And of course, uh, for your digesting system. Because if you are drink too little, you have too little fuel of fuel in your uh, digesting system, and then you can uh, if, you, if you eat. A lot of um, food that have not so much water in it, you uh, will become uh, stuck. <laughs> if you won't understand why I mean with that. Now it is soaked, and the ingredients go. And on top a little bit of meat. Oh, and it's no yeast. And that's what I eat in the morning. So, I'm now going to eat this. And after that, I go. For a walk, I think. And after that, I go to work on some of my video montation of my videos that I will upload this week or the week after that. Now, today in the afternoon, I eat a little bit of rice. But I've also eat yesterday, or I've put a bit of mint in it because I like the taste of mint. If you are curious, yes, the mint also comes from a garden. And if you want that I make next year videos from my garden when I'm working on it. If you like that kind of stuff, put it in the comments and maybe we'll do it on my other channel. The Immortal Vegan. Oh yes, I also will take a little bit of tomato soup. This afternoon I eat rice with tomato soup. I take also uh, water with it because you need to drink enough water. Very essential for your life. I've now uh, made one uh, video um, that I can put online next week or this week 
I hope put this video online on Monday next week. So, if you watch this video, you know, this video was not from this week, it was from next week. And the one of next week is from <laughs> that week because you watch this video. <laughs> I make I like to make videos uh, long in time so that I don't run out of content because I well, uh, because I don't want to uh, disappoint you and that you have no videos therefore I work for you in the future <laughs> even if I get a week uh, sick I have still videos I can put up for you. Now in the evening um, today, I eat some uh, grapes that I will blend uh, into a juice. And then I will filter it, and that's what you see now. This whole bank was full with uh, grapes, by the way. If you actually are. Yeah. filter it, I put it in one bucket and then I put one, put the damp to a sieve and I will mess it around like this until the water is going out of it. So, this is how the grapes juice looks like if it being totally uh, filtered. With it, I eat um, one apple, um, and three large bananas. I put a little bit of sugar on the top, just like I put a little bit of cinnamon on the top so that's what I'm drinking this evening today that's my last meal I hope that you like to see what I'm doing there and if you want to see more videos like that where I talk about what I eat and if you want maybe to see more videos like this so that you get inspiration for what you can eat as a vegan what is actually a lot of things you only eat just not animals how don't want to be your victim what's the excuse for casting a lease on out of our possible and as always to be vegan and understand, veganism is not about your health, it is about the animals. If it was about you, yes, then vegans are arrogant and selfish. But it is not about you or me, it is about animals who are not willing participants in a bloody immoral system that might make right. Think about this. Imagine that you are the victim in this scenario. That you live in a society where cannibalism or of some kind of people, of the homo ridiculous species, is okay. For example, if you are more intelligent than mother, then you have the right to eat the less intelligent hominid or homo ridiculous. Your speech. So I'll lie on you 